What's up everybody? It's John from johnnyoctave.com and I want to show you guys today a technique called root chord strumming. It's a really cool way to take the next step from just simply strumming chords, for those of you that are ready, um, to actually picking some single notes out of the chord. And root chord strumming is exactly what it sounds like. You're basically just picking a root note of the chord or a bass note of the chord and then strumming on the chord itself, the entire chord. And I'm going to use the tune Fire Lake by Bob Seger. I mean, who doesn't love Bob Seger? Dude writes great tunes. So we're going to use that as an example or a way to do this. So we're just going to go through the intro. And I think, uh, I think that's it. So let me zoom in and show you what's up. Okay, you guys, let me show you the chords that you're going to need first for this tune. Okay, the first chord in the progression is, is an A major chord. I'm fretting it like this to third finger, fourth finger, high E open. As always, any way that you know an A major chord is pretty much going to work for this, okay? I'm going to do it like this. This is more comfortable for me, okay? The next chord that we're going to need in the progression is E major. Next chord, we've got one bar chord in here, people. Um, don't be afraid. It's F sharp minor. Okay. If you don't know these shapes, go to johnnyoctave.com and download the free ebook. All this stuff's in it, you guys. All right, you guys, so let me show you exactly how you're going to root chord strum this, these chords. Uh, basically what's happening, like I said at the beginning of the lesson, it's exactly what it sounds like. You're, sh you're hitting uh, a bass note in the chord, okay, and then the chord itself. So let me show you how to, what to do here. So you're going to play the op for A, the very first chord in the progression. You're going to play the open A string, okay, and then you're going to give the A chord itself a down and up stroke. So it's one, two, and down. Now we're going to alternate that A bass, that A note that we just hit, with the E bass, okay, here. So it's, then again, the next portion of that measure is this, low E bass, down, up on the A chord, okay? So we're going down on the open A, down, up on the A chord, low E bass, down, up on the chord. Count is uh, one, two, and three, four, and, okay? Now I'll show you a way in a, in a second to spice that up by a... Uh, double picking this low bass note here, but we'll get to that in a second. Just get the uh, just get the idea of root chord strumming happening, okay? So the next thing that we're gonna do is we'll go to e, the E chord. We're gonna do the same exact uh, thing in that we're gonna use the same technique, obviously. So we're gonna hit the low E string, right? Down up on a chord. Low E string, open, just like that. Down up on the chord. The bass note that we're gonna alternate with this you're holding with your second finger at the second fret A string. It's that guy. Okay? So you're going to hit that as a single note, and then down up on a chord, okay? So down, down, up. So the count here is starting from the beginning of that measure, E, is one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. Okay? And then We've got F sharp minor. Okay. And what we're gonna do here, the two bass notes that we're gonna alternate between are the low E string second fret, which you're holding in the chord, and your third finger at the uh, fourth fret, fifth string. Okay, so both those notes are the ones that we're gonna alternate between. So you're gonna have the uh, low E string, second fret, down up on the chord, fourth fret, third finger. That looks like this. Okay. And then we have this little riff that's gonna finish finish that out. Okay, so let me before I show you that riff, let me play this in uh, real time. Okay. 
okay? So that little riff, all that is, is your second finger, second fret, low E string, third finger, fourth fret, low E string. Just these two little notes that lead you right into the beginning of the progression again. Okay? So pretty slow, let me show this to you so that you can kind of see how it all connects. mentioned that I was going to show you guys how to spice this up just a little bit so that's fairly easy for you um, what you can do and what I do a lot with this particular tune is I started out exactly like I showed it to you so down on the on the root note down up on the chord but instead on the second note or a root note or bass note that we're kind of toggling in between I give it a down up instead okay and that kind of spices it up a little bit let me show you what that might sound like second note, uh, bass note in the, in the progression, so for E, I do that double pick on, on, the, on, the, on the root note, or the bass note, okay? So for this one, for E, it'll be down, down, up, and then down, up, down, up, okay? Just like that. And then for F sharp minor, so the double pick is right there. have a blast with that any beginners out there that are trying this lesson just uh, be patient with that root chord strumming it's a little different from just strumming chords open it's, it's a little more precise but be patient with it use the first version uh, that I showed you guys and then as it becomes comfortable just kind of step it up and and play the double pick that I explained to you in this in the second half of the lesson you guys have fun and I'll see you next time <laughs>